Hey, welcome to Weekly Word. Thanks for uh, watching again here. We appreciate so much uh, each week you tuning in. Hope you'll share this with somebody maybe that you know that uh, just needs a word of encouragement and inspiration maybe uh, as they begin their week. Uh, in John chapter one, in the Gospel of John chapter one, uh, there is a story about the calling of a man uh, to be one of the followers, one of the disciples of the Lord Jesus. He's the last one mentioned. Uh, his name is Nathaniel. And what's interesting about Nathaniel is not just what, how Nathaniel comes to be a follower of Christ, but, but what's interesting is what Christ actually, actually says to him and how the words that Christ speaks to him. Uh, Nathaniel had a friend of his by the name of uh, Philip. And Philip has encountered the Lord Jesus Christ, and it has uh, been so noticeable to Philip that Philip is absolutely convinced that this man named Jesus of Nazareth, the little village not far from where they are, uh, is actually the Messiah, the one that they had read about in scriptures. And so he goes over to his friend, uh, Nathaniel. Uh, we don't know a whole lot about Nathaniel. Uh, in fact, Nathaniel is only mentioned in John 1 and then over in John 20, uh, where it's talked about how he's there with Peter after the resurrection, and he's one of the party that went fishing uh, with Peter when they encounter then Jesus on the shoreline. And so we don't know a lot about him. Uh, we think sometimes that uh, his name is also, uh, that actually his name is used in scripture under the name of Bartholomew as well, because Bartholomew would be a name that would mean the son of. And uh, so we think that that sometimes is Nathaniel, uh, but he went by Bartholomew also. We don't really know, and it doesn't really matter. What matters is, is that Nathaniel is sitting under a fig tree. And Philip comes to him and says, Nathaniel, you're not gonna believe the news. I have encountered the one who is the Messiah. And he tells Nathaniel, you know, you know, Nathaniel, we've been reading about this. We have heard about this all of our life. In fact, even in the scripture, it says, we read about him in the prophets. We read about him in the words of Moses and I have met the Messiah. And his name is Jesus of Nazareth, son of Joseph. And what's so fascinating is the response of Nathaniel. Nathaniel says to Philip, come on, man, how in the world would, why in the world would you think the Messiah would come from Nazareth? Because we know that Nazareth was nothing more than a little bitty village. It was nowhere land. In fact, we also know that that's where Nathaniel was from. He was from a little nowhere place named Canaan where Jesus would perform his first miracle by changing the water into wine. And Nathaniel said, nothing good has ever come out of Nazareth. There's no way this guy is the Messiah. You know what I think is interesting about that, so important to note is, is that Nathaniel is often like we are. Uh, he's, Jesus was not the one that met the, his level of expectations, at least not yet. He thought somebody who was going to be a Messiah had to come from someplace very prominent. Someone who's gonna be a Messiah, as many people also thought, would have to be someone who would be a mighty ruler, a mighty leader, someone who would have some kind of military backing or military training, someone that would be able to right all the wrongs of the Roman government to them and set them free. But that's not what Jesus was. Jesus was and is the Messiah. But he wasn't the Messiah that Nathaniel expected, and he won the Messiah that many others expect. You know, the scripture often says, in fact, Jesus said in John chapter six, uh, you have seen what I have done, but yet you still don't believe. In John chapter 11, when he brings Lazarus out of the grave, he says, as he prays to the Father, Father, I know that you hear me because you always hear me. And it's interesting that he adds this. The only reason I'm saying this, Father, is so the people around me will hear that and know that you're the one I have come to fulfill your purpose, your desire to give my life for man. Jesus is the Messiah, but Jesus is also the Messiah that you and I desperately need. He's the Messiah 
that changes our lives. He's the Messiah that forgives our sin. He is the one that gives us life. Nathaniel's gonna discover, we'll talk about this next week. He is going to discover that Jesus is everything that he is looking for. Remember this week, Jesus is everything you're looking for, and he's everything in our lives. Have a great week. We'll see you next week.